Have you seen this landowning witch comparing public use of the creek she owns to literal rape? Yeah, I I saw. I didn't cover it, uh, but it's pretty funny. Not only, not only is the um, government trying to take land. So this Colorado woman bought property next to a public park and cut off access to the creek used by the community. And she compares the public use of it. Sakura Gore, thank you for the tank of the subs. Extra summons, thank you for the five of the subs. Strawberry cake pop fanatic, thank you for the... Damn, I love strawberry cake pop, actually. I'm a fanatic, too. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Uh, Dom the Backup did a $3 dono and said, Hi, Sam, big fan. I was wondering if you've seen the movie Nefarious that just came out. I've heard it's Christian propaganda, but I wanted to get your take on it. <coughs> um, Baloney Togna. Thank you for the five uh, gifted subs. Sakura Gore is an oil baron, yes. Um. Oh, this is now. this is hilarious. In, in case you missed it, this is the quickest resignation of a public official in my career. More details in the link below. Yeah, we're gonna cover this in a second. Um, here, let's look at this, uh, psychotic lady though. This witch lady bought, uh, uh, you know, a, a land next to a public Creek and is now trying to cut off access to the public Creek. Not only is the government trying to take land that I bought fair and square, but they're trying to force me to share it with the public. Paying taxes doesn't mean that they have to acknowledge that the land is privately owned. Not only is the government trying to take land that I bought fair and square, but they're trying to force me to share it with the public. Paying going to talk all about litigation and why I'm currently being sued by all three of my county commissioners. Unbeknownst to me, my backyard has been used by the public for about 35 years. You really like it that way. So when I came in and started swinging around my private property rights, that didn't go too well. The public started complaining, rumors of harassment emerged, even harassment against kids like, come on, Karen. Wait. Come on, Karen. You're the one who's being a Karen. I don't understand. What? Bro, people just say things nowadays. It's like, what, what do you mean? You're literally, you're literally trying to enforce private property rights over a, a creek that everybody wants to use. Like, what the fuck? It's so funny she thinks she's in the right. Yeah. Among a few other things. I'm going to talk all about. I want to talk. Dying at this song as I sit in nature's calming church and listen to the slow babble of Bear Creek. I don't want to talk about things we've gone through. I reflect on the advertised words, Bear Creek running through your backyard. Oh, and think of the number of times my home in this land was sold to others before me. I wonder why something so beautiful was always sold in the winter and why Jefferson County never tried to claim I it until now. I remember the big dreams I had as a little girl growing up in middle class America. Yeah, the American dream is like taking over, uh, you know, public areas that other people are utilizing and just like stopping them from utilizing that enclosures, you know, that's right. And that's what you've done to the one to one day own mountain land with water on it. Oh, for the record. Um, someone was saying, oh, she's wearing like native jewelry. The irony of her talking about stolen land and enclosures as she's wearing native jewelry. You bet your fucking ass. I will give you, I will, I will bet a hundred dollars that she claims that she has uh native ancestry. Okay. And she got a 23 and me done. And it was like, you know, 3% uh, something indigenous. Nothing more. Come on now. No more to I climb my way up from the very bottom of a large corporation and work two jobs so I could afford community college before transferring to university. For years, I did nothing but work hard and study. It took me a long time to graduate college and pay off my loans, but I eventually did both. I bought this land and land. I bought this house and land all on my own. It's my greatest pride. The sacrifices I made along the way feel minor compared to the sacrifices I'm having to make now. Wait, what? But I am determined to fight for the right to hold on to my dream. 
Because in a world where people think they can just take what they want, fighting back is so much more than saying no. Thank you for fighting beside me. Who the fuck is fighting beside her? It's rapey for the community. Oh, here. It's rapey for the community use of a creek that's been part of the park for decades. When will kids learn that no means that's no? What the county did. They were seeking to take my land or give the public access to it in three different ways. Number one. Oh, also, apparently, it turns out her property fucking ends at the at the creek, not, you know, uh, own the creek. For 35 years of public access, Bear Creek in Kittridge threw a plot of land next to a community park. A woman cut off the creek access, claiming the land is hers. A peaceful community comes to mind when visiting the quaint mountain town of Kittridge. My next door neighbor quite literally brought me a pie. Races. A busy park, especially during Canyon Fest, a bubbling creek, and friendly people like Jimmy Dixon. It's that type of community that people really look out for each other and neighbors are really close. Well, for anyone who's ever bought a house, you know that you know when you know. For a time, new neighbor Terrilyn Romero was yeah, welcomed. So Last year, she crazy. bought her dream home with a backyard through. creek right next to the town's beloved park. It was going to be my private back. Yeah, yo, this chick thinks she's Nestle, bro. You can't do that. You know, that is above your pay grade. You can't be fucking shutting off access to, to, to fresh water. You know what I mean? Unless you're Nestle. Backyard. I, I did, had no reason to believe what I know now, which is that the public was using my land as an extension of the park. To most members in this community, this park is the heart of Kittredge. For 35 years, people had access to the creek. But Romero <laughs> sent this creek all the time. I'm going to moon her. She says prove the creek. Lol, healthcare industry. She works at Evernorth, a subsidiary of Cigna. Terrilyn Romero isn't a developer. She isn't some rich outsider. She's a native Coloradan who works in the healthcare industry. Oh, yeah, she works at Cigna. Nice. Uh, Cigna my nuts. You know what I mean? Um, when she bought the disputed property in 2021, she said she just wanted a nice place to live, enjoy nature, and build a new life. Uh, she ended up at Kit Ridge in a way that is almost cliche. She got tired of living in a big city during the pandemic. Following a divorce, Romero had been living in a high-rise apartment in Denver. There, she met Imer, and when COVID hit, the couple decided they wanted more space. They rented a house about 30 minutes outside the city, and when their lease came up early 2021, they decided to stay in the area. access area is her land. When I first started exercising private property rights, it was really just about liability. I had some basic signs up to let them know that they were on. She had a GoFundMe that raised almost 14K. I, God, every day we are getting closer and closer to eternal damnation. I am literally, I'm no, I'm no evangelical, but like we are in hell, okay? I think we're 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 literally just living in a cycle of of hellish existence. Oh my fucking lord. People are too stupid, dude. People are so fucking stupid. Stop. This is like landlord tipping. Yes, this is the this is like the the same if not worse. On private land. The crowds became too much, she says, with trash, human feces, and digging. She and her fiance started telling people to I'm leave. Just, I'm just saying, like, we can't have barbecue and fire out there, man. Not, sir. It is private property. You have a wonderful day. What type of response did you experience from the community? An aggressive one. Can I leave? Wait, wait. Suddenly, Romero cut off creek access. That prompted threats and made her feel like the most hated neighbor, she says. I feel Oh, she's crying. Really angry. Because I um I tried to do the Saint Saint Akia, thank you for the tank of the subs. The right thing. Uh, when I moved in, I realized um, that my land meant a lot to the community. And to my neighbors, I tried really, really hard uh, to compromise and to share and to be reasonable. Jefferson County filed a lawsuit against Romero seeking adverse possession of the land. The county hopes a judge will declare the creek access area part of the park, citing the fact it's been used by the public for 35 years. 
Romero is fighting the lawsuit as neighbors pick sides. I think it's too far at this point to try to, to rebuild a lot of the animosity between neighbors around it. Back to Jimmy Dixon. He moderates a Kittridge Facebook page that's turned ugly. Some of my neighbors that I, I really respected, I've seen a new side to them, and it's, it's just been frustrating to watch. I knew you guys were fabulous, but you're also a freaking force. Romero has a... I hate that. You love to be creative and your attorneys need to know how and be willing to protect you. Bad mama, grandma. Oh, God, I hate this world. No, fuck this world, dude. Fuck this. Fuck this world. Fuck this existence. Oh, my fucking Lord. This is absolutely unimaginably insane, dude. This person literally is like, like they're, they're, they're trying to extend their fucking private property to an area that they do not own. Oh, my Lord. What the fuck? How, why does she have defenders? Why are there people who are like, yeah, hell yeah, keep fighting the good fight, sister. What is happening? This kind of shit is infinitely more doom pilling for me in particular than, than other stuff. When someone is like objectively a fucking asshole and has just nefarious vibes. You know what I mean? Like, like just absolutely awful fucking vibes that they're putting out there on a regular basis, and yet they still end up gaining prominence and, and gaining a cult-like uh, uh, you know, movement behind them to continue being a fucking asshole. It blows my mind. I don't understand. No way did she not realize it was a popular beach. The community has been trucking in sand to make the play area. There are clear trails from the park to the creek. I used to bring my kid there about 10 years ago. It's very common to have property like that. We had rows on our property. It's just the way the development occurred. People do that a surprising amount. Like they'll cut their neighbor's piece of grass for 10 years and claim it's theirs or build a fence uh, a foot over the known property line and claim the land happens a lot. Normally courts interest strike it down because it's obviously nefarious. I... TikTok is full of property dispute videos. It just makes me so sad. Like, this is like a low-level villain shit. You know what I mean? You're basically a low-level villain. At the, you know, you're, you're shutting off access uh, from children uh, that, that want to go to a fucking creek and, like, experience a little bit of public land. Like, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand how uh, people don't immediately go, that's really fucked up. Like, how do you empathize with that person and not with, like, the other people that just want to go to the creek with their kids and experience nature? I don't get that. I don't even fucking like nature. You know what I mean? I don't even like nature. I hate being out in nature. And even I get that as a concept. Yeah, no shot. I'm believing this. This is John Oliver type satire, satire fake tears on command, especially how somebody this gives me such Israeli settler victim vibes. I mean, <laughs> there is a there is a, 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 a analogy there for sure, but because the other people just hear people want to take my land. That's it. It's American as fuck. I just don't understand. It's a sympathetic social Yesterday, media following herself. And they've been incredibly supportive. They've validated the way that I've been feeling about this. And they've encouraged me to keep fighting for my property rights. We've been getting a lot of social media trolls that have not only threatened the community, but threatened moderators and individuals that live in the community. A town divided literally by a creek. I see both sides. I see that this park was was made intended to have creek access water access is really important for community dude like it's monstrous man straight up anyone that fucking shuts off like uh any part of like uh, uh, a natural resource from a public park 
uh, because they claim ownership over it is a demon straight up. I love public parks. I'll tell you what, as someone who frequently visits the wonderful public parks here in Los Angeles, I'm a major fan. You've heard me talk about this. I think it is profoundly important to have public parks. I think, uh, you know, it, it's really great for community building. It's awesome. I, I don't know. It's just like so deeply frustrating. Public parks are nature. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying, like, I'm a big Parks and Rec sucker, okay? It's awesome. It's also fucking free 99. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's great. Shut up, you live in California. Sarcasm. If they're worried about the liability, just donate the land to the park. They talk, they bought, they talk, they bought the creek fair and square, and it's so frustrating because it's a bold faced lie. I don't think you can buy the creek, even in a fucking libertarian, uh, uh, even in a libertarian paradise like Colorado. I don't think you can just like straight up purchase a creek, man. I, I don't think that's how that works. Like it's a, it's a, wa it's a body of water. Like, what do you mean? Wars have been fought over the concept that you're mentioning between nations when they build dams on it, like Turkey and Syria are in a constant state of conflict due to uh, the, the uh, two major rivers that flow through Turkey and flow into Syria inevitably. It's literally this I'm situation. Like if, if you own the beach property, right? Mm -hmm. Do you own the, like the sand and the water? Because nobody owns the water. God, it's God's water. What if someone... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, literally, nobody owns the water. It's God's water. It's your water. It's the public water. Can I own Lake Michigan? Water rights cannot be bought. They're all public. It's the access to the water. It's considered the waters of the state. If a waterway flows on more than one property, it's public. I mean, isn't this like a major point of contention on TikTok? Don't people get like really scared that people are buying and shutting off access to water everywhere? I thought that's what they were worried about. Like, uh, like what? Is it only when Bill Gates does it that do you have an issue with it? But when it's like some fucking witch talk lady... Then you're like, oh no, it's it's a yes queen moment. Like, is that what it is? But I also understand the the property owner side. There's there's a thing. There's property rights. Can't people just meet in the middle? Exactly where that middle is will be up to a judge. And for Romero, who actually lives in the very home once owned by town founder C. M. Kittridge, it's about more than land. The county contends that you know what the public has been using this land for like 35 years. Why just not? Turns out the river changed shape since 1920, but they never updated the land rights uh, uh, map. Okay. I mean, let's be real. She bought the property and she literally was like, now I know why they sell the property in uh, the winter. Take it up with who you bought it from, asshole. Okay. You already knew. You're like, oh, well, I was sold this property under false pretenses because I didn't know that there was so much public fucking traffic happening in my backyard. Okay, well, that's your fucking fault, dumbass. Go deal with whoever the fuck sold you this while claiming that you own the, the entire fucking landline. I just, I don't understand it. Like, you don't get to, okay, <clears throat> you don't get to fuck over so many people because you got fucked over. Like, you don't, that's not how that works. Like, you can't make it the entire fucking town's problem that you didn't do your due diligence, you know what I mean? She openly admits it too. Well, I guess you can do that in the United States of America because this is a hyper individualistic shithole, okay, where, uh, you know, you can gain momentum and support over some of the most like perverted 
some of the most perverted and, and uh, I would say, demonic activity like this. No, let this go. <sighs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> you know, I think there's a, there's a million reasons why I should not just let this go. I am fighting for the right to be able to say no for, on your private land when you want to say no. And I think that that's really important as an American and as a woman. Romero and the as a woman county have agreed to allow public access until a judge makes a final decision. It's so the manipulative. Declined an interview about this story, but sent. It's so manipulative. It's so fucking gross. As a woman, uh, she's like trying to go with the government overreach narrative. When you, as a woman, okay, got fucking owned and you paid extra dollars without doing your fucking due diligence on uh, uh, land that you didn't fucking own, okay? That's so stupid. Utilize the court system to your advantage, not by trying to enforce enclosures on public land, further enclosures on public land, but instead to go back to the person who sold you the shitty thing and, and try to get money out of them. But instead, she's doing the dumbest thing ever, where she's claiming that it's rape that, like, little children get to utilize the creek that they've used for 30 fucking years. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just, it's so fucked up. Who would want to have a private creek full of rope, signs, and cameras? How is that appealing? She just wants it for herself. Like, she thinks it's like her own backyard pool. You know what I mean? It's so dumb. The statement that says, in part... Jefferson County has requested that the court decide the dispute as soon as possible to reaffirm its right to use the property that the public has enjoyed for over 35 years. Now, a big issue here is the actual boundary between the park and the private land. The county believes it should be the creek, but the creek has actually moved <laughs> over the years. Romero says, hey, it doesn't matter if the creek has moved. My plot, my surveys, my map shows my plot extends all the way up to the edge of that park, and that's my land. This is a tough one because you can see both sides to this, right? But I have a question. So if a judge comes in and determines... No, you can't see both sides to this, man. What is happening? Yo, local news is like they, they even smell a little bit of money. They're like, we have to literally defend you. Like, is that what's going on here where they just like... Even if, you, even if you smell a little bit of capital ownership, you're like, oh, man, I'm going to do everything I fucking can. Yes, right. The county can come in and like retake this private land. How does that work? Does that happen? Like, is that a thing? It, it happens sometimes, but it's very rare. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a high threshold for the government and to come in and take someone's private land. If the judge decides that this should belong to the public, that's going to possibly not sit well with a lot of people who side with Romero. Who yeah, fuck those people. Those people going to suck my dick. Okay. I, dude, 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 fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Yeah, you should, okay, take it up with the person who sold you this, eminent domain it, and then, you know, give her opportunity for legal recourse, not against the government, or not against, like, ownership over the, stake ownership over the fucking uh, creek, obviously, but against the person who sold them a property that is actually much smaller. Oh, I was right, by the way, apparently... Nice to meet you. I just got property in the area. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Welcome. You look new here. Yeah, so like I said, I just bought property. I just moved in. Excuse me, you, you bought property? No, 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 you didn't buy that. You didn't buy that. I've been using that property for years with my grandkids. You didn't buy that. I did, I did. I even have the deed and, and the land survey, so. It's mine. I'm paying taxes. Oh, uh-huh. It's, it's yours. You think it's yours. <gasps> you are stealing it. You are stealing it. You are a thief. I like that she is literally the person that she is, like, claiming that she's against. But because she's saying, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm doing private property, so, like, it's my, 
uh, you know, the, the other people are the actual Karens. Everyone's like, yeah, you're, you know, I guess her supporters think that uh, she's not the Karen in this particular situation. It's very weird. You look Mexican, too. You know what? You're not going to get away with this. You're not going to get away with it. You can't take that from us. You look it's Mexican, ours. too? It belongs. Wait, what? No, she doesn't. What the fuck? to the community like or what is what does look mexican mean there's like white mexicans what the fuck does that mean i'm in danger okay she didn't say she was a uh, uh, native here by the way not a high threshold i work on roads the state owns 30 feet from the edge of the asphalt even when new roads are built if the landowner refused to sell it's taken through eminent domain yep Oh, check the tags. Native Amer hashtag Native American. Like what? <sighs> Fucking locked it. Who believe that you know this is her private land? She has a right to assert her rights on her private land. So, where the middle is. What is the public interest? Is the public interest going to be giving the park or the land back to the park or to the park? Or is the public interest making sure a private landowner keeps their land? Right, setting that precedent yeah, setting for that, future cases. Exactly. So it's a, I, that, that judge has a very, very hard decision to make, I think. I know this wasn't a voice in your story, but I'm curious mm -hmm. about the previous landowner. Good question. If they have any thought on all this. I tried reaching them. I no, tried reaching them. them, and I could not reach those Because they, in theory, were the ones who allowed this so, for decades to so, continue, so this, there the, was no problem. There was no problem. Uh, you know, this was She's a part of the Navajo tribe, bro. You are just racist. She just wants her reparations, Lamau. Shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, Native Americans, famous, st famously stalwarts of private property rights. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Native Americans are, are uh, famously anti, uh, you know, mass utilization of, like, uh, natural resources such as water like the only time native american or indigenous people actually fight back is when like an oil company is like we're gonna build a fucking pipeline on top of your water and it's gonna leak into your water and there's not really anything you can do about it suck my dick that's the only time when native americans are like actually no that's pretty fucked up you shouldn't do that so that everyone can literally use it Yes, a Native American woman claiming she has the most rights to the land because she paid money for it, even though the people that already live there and enjoy the land freely. Yeah. This was, you know, a park that was established in 1986. And back in those days, you know, things were done a little bit differently from what I was told. Mm -hmm. And those, you know, those owners may have had a handshake agreement with the community. They, they, that was a long time ago. So we don't really know how that played out. But what's clear here is that you have things written on surveys and maps. You have a new property owner coming in. And she says, I had no idea about the historical nature of this land. And when she saw people coming onto the land and seeing the debris and the trash, she felt like, hey, this is my land here. And she says, you know, I'm paying taxes on this land. Well, and if somebody yeah. accidentally lights a fire on your land, yes. to her point, is she liable for that? Yeah, yeah. Th yeah. That would be scary. I mean, here's a great idea. Uh, fucking revoke ownership of the land you do not own. So it's like covered under uh, the... the uh, you know, covered under the public park. That's great. There you go. Problem solved uh, into oblivion. You know what I mean? I, I don't really understand. You shouldn't have ownership over that regardless. So there you go. I'm proud of how far we come as a country that even Native Americans can be awful capitalists. First of all, yes, indigenous uh, populations, uh, indigenous tribes can be awful capitalists. And are sometimes, especially tribe leaders, when, uh, when, when push comes to shove, there's always like one group that you can always fucking rely on to be like, no, actually, we love the oil pipeline. Uh, you know, you'll go to one tribe and, and, and grease them a little bit. And then they'll say, actually, there's always one tribe that will say, no, we love the pipeline. It's going to create a lot of jobs for us. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. Everyone can be a fucking rugged capitalist. This person is not. Okay. This person is, is not a fucking, uh, you know, uh, 
Native American. This person's not an indigenous person at all. Anyway, I, I also don't like the the mythologizing of like uh, indigenous populations in that in that regard. Like we make it seem like there's like this thing, you know. My dad is an aerospace physician at NASA, and unfortunately, the Garn scale isn't commonly used anymore. Oh, really? That's a bummer. That's an update from yesterday. Yeah. The American government has been pitting tribes uh, against one another uh, in perpetuity. Right. Yeah, so she's had to get some attorneys uh, to take on the county lawsuit, and who knows when the, the county is going to make a decision, or rather the judge will make a decision on this. All right, keep us posted with this yeah. one. This is interesting. I know a lot of folks are going to want to know what happens. Yeah, there's a big balance here. Private property versus public property here. Mm -hmm. which, wh where, where should it go? Okay, keep yeah. us posted. Hilarious takes from a mansion. Dude, that is so funny. Dumbass take, bad take, hilarious takes from a mansion. Okay, here, let's unpack this real quick, okay? First of all, the house that I own does not sit on top of, you know, uh, some kind of public creek, okay? That's number one. Number two, if you have this, like, rugged enforcement of private property rights, you should know your place, okay? If you are personally, like, this big old capitalist, so much so that you want to defend it, Okay, then know your place. You are speaking to a capital owner. You are speaking to a person that has made more money than you. You are speaking to your daddy. Okay, so why? Why is it that you are not knowing your place in the same way that like uh, a lot of this uh, local media immediately fucking, uh, uh, you know, bend the knee to to the, the woman who's like, I have an ownership stake over this. You know what I mean? Dumbass grifter. It seems like you're a little conflicted. Okay, it seems like you are a little conflicted in your sock account, okay, in your 1,000, <laughs> in your one, one fucking 163rd, uh, 163K uh, uh, sock account, okay, here's what it is, okay, loser, I know, but like, you're, but, but like, you don't understand, you're calling me a loser for having a fucking home. You're calling me a loser for having a home while simultaneously in defense of capitalism. You understand? So, like, the hypocrisy argument is idiotic regardless, but it doesn't make sense within your own framework. Do you understand? Like, you're saying I'm a loser for what? Having a lot of money and, and having a house? Having uh, a home that I can house my family in? Isn't that supposed to be something that you respect? You venerate uh, homeowners, right? Like, you are... Supposed to be a capitalist. You are supposed to be defending capitalism in this regard. So I don't really understand how that makes any sense. Keep chirping dumbass. No, I, I kind of sad that you are saying this while simultaneously not recognizing it. Because you're a gamer, you're some dumb shit, own up to it, always ask for Raytheon. Zelensky's corrupt. They already removed vaccines, should have never approved them. Oh, this person is all over the place. Okay, they're just in here. They're in here uh, trying to target every avenue they can. One guy, Lamau. Yeah, I was just pretending to be fucking uh, shit for brains. You're the one who's chirping, not me. Anyway. Wild stuff overall. Again. It's, uh, it's always weird when I am in defense of, like, public land uh, or, or uh, whenever I, I uh, say something that is, like, inherently anti-capitalist and those who want to defend capitalism will come in here, a person, a POW, a person of wealth, and speak out of turn. It's like, I don't really understand it. Shouldn't you be uh, celebrating me? Shouldn't you be fucking, uh, you know, licking my boots if that's what you want to do? You want to lick the boots of other capital owners? What is it? Yeah. A POM, a person of means. A POW, a person of wealth. A POC, person of capital. You claim to defend capitalism, and yet here you are with no deed to the factory. You own no capital, and yet here you are defending capitalism. And you also 
personally think, you also personally think that I own capital. So know your place. That's what the county did. They were seeking to take my land or give the public access to it in three different ways. Number one, adverse possession. They're basically claiming squatters' rights. Number two, possession by accretion, which basically means they're making the argument that the creek moved over time, and because it moved, the property line changed, and now my land is their land. And number three, the most rapey of them all. He says it's rapey. Prescriptive easement. Under prescriptive easement, I continue to own the land and pay taxes for it, but I have to share it with the public. Give it to the public parks. Give it to the government. Give it to the government. You no longer have to pay taxes for it, except you don't want to do that because you bought it at a high markup thinking that you own that fucking land and you don't, you don't, when you want to sell it in the future, you don't want to sell a smaller piece of the fucking land because you automatically eat like, I don't know, at least a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of land. So that's the real problem here, okay? That's the real issue here. Let's be fucking real. The real issue here is that she got fucked over by whoever the previous owner was who made her carry the bag, made her hold the bag, and she doesn't want to be the bag holder. 50 total viewers lol. Wait, what? No, she's like a, like a sizable TikTok content creator from what I understand. <laughs> Feministly, taxation is rape. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, Minion Death Cult uh, uh, did a really good analysis on this, so shouts out to them. Good job. Um, let's move on. Uh, let's move away from this.